Hey, what's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to zoom in with your right mouse button in Unreal Engine 4. How to go about that. So I have my scene here. It is a slightly modified modified first person template. It uh, is pretty spooky. Uh, these cubes are terrifying. I have all black and I have my flashlight, which is kind of smoothed, which I did in the previous video. And I want to right click in order to zoom in on these cubes because I want to be immersed in this terrifying cube world. So we're going to be doing that in our first person character blueprint. So you go into content. Well, you should already be in content. First person BP blueprints, first person character. You double click on that. And then there you open up your first person character event graph. You might even be in your viewport. Go to event graph. And uh, yeah, so I want on the event that I press the right mouse button, I want something to happen. I want to zoom in. So I'm going to right click and then go right to mouse button, hit enter. And look at that. So when I press it, I want to zoom in. And then when I release it, I want it to go back to my original non zoomed in value. So we're going to do this basic basic, I'm going to go here, and then our field of view is 90, 90 degrees. So that makes sense. That's perfectly fair. So now we know what our original field of view is, and I want to zoom in. So let's go when we press, actually, we need to figure out what we're going to be affecting. We want to affect the first person camera, the first person camera in the viewport and the first person camera that we look through in our world. All right, so let's drag that, go to our event graph, drag that first person camera into our graph. Boom. Okay, and this creates a reference to our first person camera. And I'm going to drag off of this. And you might go, uh, you know, you want to set the field of view. So you go FOV and nothing comes up. Um, I wish they would change this as a keyword, but it's uh, if you type in view, you can set field of view, not FOV. So when I press this, right, I'm, when I press this, I'm going to set the field of view to a number. And that's going to be obviously a number different from uh, 90. So I'll go uh, 120. No, sorry, we want to go to a lower value. All right, 60. All right. So when I press the right mouse button, it'll get a reference to that first person camera and it'll tell it go to 60. And uh, yeah, let's give that a try. So I want to zoom in on my cube here. All right, so it zooms in. That's all well and neat, but it doesn't go back when I release it, right? So I actually need to set this to go back to, um, well, should, I shouldn't just do things without explaining, sorry. I'm gonna select these two and then paste. So there's a copy of it. And then I'm gonna get the released to my released field of view, which is 90. When I press it, it goes to 60. When I release it, it goes back to 90, which is the original. So now we are zooming in and we can examine things and, uh, you know, examine our cube world and explore these cubes and look around and be scared. So that's all well and good. And uh, yeah, let's let's do something like smooth the field of view. Let's just try to do that. Okay, so let's go, let's make a timeline. Right click, I'm gonna make a timeline. Add timeline. Now these are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty useful. I'm actually going to break these two. Boop, boop. And I'm gonna move this over here. I'm still probably gonna need them, but I don't know. I don't know quite yet. So I've only done this like twice before, so bear with me. So this is the timeline. This is basically a way to go from 90 degree field of view to 60, not snapping like you once were, but like a smooth, um, like linear way to go from those two views or any other, uh, any other kind of shape that you want. So it's like you're zooming in and then you zoom out when you release it. So let's go when we press it. I want to play. And then when I release, I want to reverse, right? 
super super duper simple 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 sorry so let's uh double click on our timeline here that will open up a new graph and i want to drop in a float so a float is pretty neat and i want to set the length to something so i want to zoom in in two seconds let's just say two seconds two seconds enter so this is our timeline here and this little line here is uh this expresses the two points that we're going to be doing so i'm going to hit that right there um, by holding shift and clicking right you can shift and click i'll just do that again you hold shift and then you click and that'll drag a point there and i can move it around all right so i want to set this to time uh zero and i want the value to be 90. trust me on this trust me and yeah where does that go it just left it left the building where's the where to go oh it's up here okay so uh let's grab our uh, i'm right clicking to uh drag this out let's uh drag let's uh drag another one in and i want this time to be mouse wheeling now i want this to be let's say at uh two seconds that might that might work and i want this value to be uh what was it 90 no 60 i want this to be 60 in 60 very nice all right so there's that i've clicked here so it goes from 90 value of 90 to 60 and i want this to be at two seconds actually so there is that so that'll play when i hit the right mouse button it'll play and interpolate that down to here so i need to name uh this track i'm gonna rename this to fov cool so that is that i'm gonna save and compile i think i actually have to and i'm going to go here and look at that this is a value a float value that i can uh drop into uh one of these fields of view now i only need one of these which is pretty cool right so this will update every time as the the field of view is sliding and i need to move this to here so now that number has disappeared it's being controlled by the timeline so within two seconds i will zoom in when i press the right mouse button And then I'll, when I release it, I will zoom out. It's basically just playing that as I press it. And then when I, re when I release it, it'll reverse it back to where it started. That might be a little bit too long. So I'm going to move that over here. Maybe give that like a one second sort of thing. Uh, maybe uh, 0.5 seconds. So half a second. And I need to make sure that I'm within this area here, which is very important. All right, so now, play. I'm zooming in. I can be like, look at that menacing T. Things like that. So now I'm zooming in by pressing the right mouse button, and it's very smooth. I can hold it and move around, let go, and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, that's uh, all well and exciting. So that is a, uh, a basic zoom-in situation. What I can do is I can select that and hit C, and I'll be like, uh, right, mouse, zoom. And there you go, smooth zoom, and uh, all that fun stuff. So, yeah, that's that. Hope you learned stuff. Take care, and have a good one.